Hey y'all, uh, let's just say off top that this one not gonna be very funny. Uh, so hey, at least I'm consistent. Am I right, comment section? Okay. As I often do, I wanna talk to my fellow rednecks for a minute on the very touchy subject of guns. Look, first off, y'all, I get it, I do. My grandpa taught me how to shoot when I was six years old. In the years since, I've inherited his entire collection. Hell, half the time when I go back home and get up with my buddies from high school, we end up in the backyard hooping and hollering and shooting at beer cans while all our wives sit inside and talk about how fucking stupid we are. A southern tradition if ever there was one. I understand. I really do. But there has got to be a line somewhere. Right? And I know you'll say, I just say it but true. They're just, you know, Bad shit happens, there ain't nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do, despite global evidence to the contrary. Also, it's funny how there's nothing we can do only when it's a crazy white motherfucker with a gun. If it's a brown dude with a gun, you're like, religion of peace, my ass, kick them all out, deport them all, that's what I say. If it's a black dude with a gun, well, these gangs, man, goddamn. Drugs, out of control, law and order, that's what we need. But when it's a white guy with a gun, which by the way, it almost always is, you say, I, I don't know, something might right about this. Something, something's fishy here, I don't know. Not jump to any conclusions. And look, I'll grant you, in this specific instance, it is pretty weird that a middle-aged white male gun nut would go after radio country music like that. It don't make a lot of sense. But here's the thing, clearly he was deranged. You have to be to do that. He was an unhinged man. An unhinged man who had access to a literal arsenal. Because that's just how it works in this country. And you really gonna tell me that nothing about that seems fucked up to you. There's nothing we can do about any of that. That taking steps to address that, there's no difference between that and the tyrannical government coming for your papa's hunting rifle. Really? Really? And I know you'll say, well, all right, smart ass. What about all the time somebody used a, a car bomb or just drove a truck into a crowd or a plane into a building, no guns there, what about that? Yeah, that's true. But that's like if I told you you shouldn't let your preschoolers play with knives and you said, oh man, hell, you know how little kids are, the way they're always falling down and running into shit, you know, you can't do nothing with them. That's true, but we should probably at least try to keep the shit away from them, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we fucking try to make it a little bit harder for one guy to shoot hundreds of people at once? We can't try. And I know what else you're thinking. Like, oh, typical lefty, take any goddamn opportunity to make something political. <laughs> Man, what, when the hell are we supposed to talk about it? When it comes to this shit, it's not opportunism, it's fucking desperation. Something's got to change. And the grim reality is, by the time you say it's okay to talk about this horrific tragedy, another one will have taken its place. It's a goddamn shame, but that's the fucking world we live in. There is no good time to talk about this shit. Which is exactly the way the GOP and the NRA wants it. Well, yeah, well, fuck that and fuck them. But I ain't talking to them. The NRA ain't gonna change. Having blood on their hands ain't never stopped them motherfuckers from writing a check. They're gonna do what they do. But the rest of y'all can come to the table. You can admit that something is badly wrong here, that there's a middle ground somewhere, that we can do something that we can at least fucking try. Right?